What's up boys, Shane here, and today I want to talk about Modern Warfare 4 and it having a battle royale in the game. So many of the rumors currently are stating that Modern Warfare 4 will have a battle royale mode and that it will be similar to Blackout in size. Now I don't think that this is the right option for Infinity War to go. I think an Infinity War game should have a campaign and likely not have a battle royale because if they have to develop a campaign, a battle royale, and some sort of extra spec ops mode like a Modern Warfare game should have as well, I don't think that it um, they'll be able to put their full effort into all of those. I'd rather just have campaign spec ops and multiplayer like traditional Modern Warfare games. Now I do think that Blackout will continue to get supported throughout the year, um, uh, which is 2019 and into 2020. I think that Treyarch wants this to last for a long time, so I think they will continue to support it. Um, I just don't think that the right route for the Modern Warfare franchise is Battle Royale. Um, although it could be cool with the sort of snowmobile combat that we saw from previous games and having some maps from previous Modern Warfare games, I just, I don't know, I don't think that um, it's the best use of Infinity Ward's time. Uh, a, Modern Warfare, a Modern Warfare 4 campaign would be super awesome, and if they didn't include a campaign, which one of the rumors said that it would just be Modern Warfare 2 and 3 remastered as a quote-unquote campaign, I don't really know how you could call it a sequel to Modern Warfare 3. I know Black Ops 4 is technically a sequel to Black Ops 3 and it doesn't have a campaign, um, but I personally didn't like that about it. I really wish that um, they furthered the Black Ops franchise. With that being said though, at the end of the Black Ops 3 campaign, it's kind of clear that there is an ending to the franchise. You technically spend like the last half of the campaign dead, but you're just sort of in a dream world. Whereas in, at the end of Modern Warfare 3, Price um, is still alive. He just smokes a cigar and then the game ends as you um, see Makarov there hanging. Now, the Modern Warfare 4 campaign could see what happens to Price afterwards, what happens to the world afterwards um, in the Modern Warfare game. Uh, Black Ops 3 didn't really have that same segue into a future campaign, so I can kind of understand the prequel nature of Black Ops 4, however I still would have liked a campaign. Now something I could see them doing with Battle Royale is removing the Spec Ops um, missions and then putting a Battle Royale in there um, so that we would have campaign, Battle Royale, and multiplayer. Because Infinity Ward, um, while they did have um, some Zombies modes in the past, um, and they also had that um, game mode in Ghosts as well, I do think that it's not as strong as Treyarch Zombies and that there isn't really as much of a want for them. However, I do think that Spec Ops is something that's really wanted and I hope they don't overlook that and I would much rather get Spec Ops over a Battle Royale just because I love the Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops missions. They are just so fun and there's something just to do and grind towards to get a faster time um, when you're just when you have a few minutes. If you just want to hop into a Spec Ops mission instead of sitting down doing a campaign or something like that, they're really fun to do. Uh, tell me you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Do you want a Battle Royale in Modern Warfare 4? Do you think the next Call of Duty is going to be Modern Warfare 4? I sort of just assumed that it was in this video, and I'll have a future video saying why I'm assuming it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. It's not based off any of the leaks, but it's more just like marketing logic with Activision. Uh, but again, boys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.